I want to talk to you about fragrance deformulation formulation today. And if you stick around to the end, I'll even send you a free gift. So what exactly is fragrance deformulation? formulation? I get this question all the time. First off, let me tell you a little bit about us. We're in us all fragrances and flavors. We're a research and development company located in Houston, and we select only the strongest, best ingredients for our fragrances. So you may have never heard of us, but I'm willing to bet if you've used any fragrances that have lasted on in hand lotions for 24 hours or in laundry detergent for seven to 10 days or in perfumes, colognes that just knocked your socks off then you've used some of our products. For almost 20 years, we've created the world's most unforgettable fragrances and flavors. And with over 20,000 formulas under our belt, we know a thing or two. All right, so back to deformulation. What is it? What exactly is fragrance deformulation? First off, it's reverse engineering a fragrance or identifying the components by percentage and chemical name. So why would you want to do this? You know, I hear from folks, I trust my fragrance house, you know, they've been great to me, they're amazing, and, and that's incredible. You know, there's, there's some folks out there though that buy from resellers or they, they buy from further down the line, they buy from distributors after resellers. And that's where a problem can come in. So if you look at the computer screen right now, this is a very popular laundry detergent that we've, we've made in the past. And if you look up here, there's a chemical called Ambroxan. You know, we use less than 1% because it's, you know, super strong and you don't need much of it, but it's also $315 a pound, right? And then if you go further down, you'll see this other chemical called DPG, dipropylene glycol nowhere near 300 bucks a pound it's a buck a pound so what some of these folks down the stream have figured out is wow we can buy this at let's say eight bucks a pound and cut it in half or or more and still sell it for for the same price and that's that's what we're trying to discourage you know that's that's uh that's only gonna weaken your product it's gonna make your product change colors and you're gonna have all sorts of problems so you know one more quick example so if you pumped bad gas into your vehicle you know and your car sputtered or stalled you know you'd notice and you'd want to tell the gas station and you probably wouldn't want to buy your gas there ever again so why are fragrances any different so if you have a lot of customers coming to you and telling you hey there's something wrong the fragrance is weaker it smells different it's not the same it doesn't have the same kick the same throw you have no idea what's going on and, and this is your company you know is you find anything wrong with that you know so if you buy fragrances for your candle shop or perfumes or air fresheners or any scented products fragrances are an integral part of your day-to-day -day business and your manufacturing process. So basically, you're in the business, whether you can admit it or not. So isn't it a bit odd that you don't know more about what's exactly in the fragrances? So that's where we come in. That's where deformulation really stands out. So one of the things, did you know that you can use a refractive index to check your fragrances for purity and strength? Um, also a C of A, you can do some stability testing, you know, check the flash points, specific gravity. There's a lot of tests you could run, but refractive index seems to be, uh, you know, on the, on the top of the list here. So as a manufacturer, we check each individual component that comes in using an RI. You know, we've read a ton of white papers and study after study shows that weaker or imposter fragrances have a lower RI than the original. So refract, refract, <laughs> easy for me to say, refract, Geometry and GC gas chromatograph, you know, are used in a lot of these studies, and they will really pull out the imposter. So that's what you're that's what you're sensing, you know, when you get customers that are telling you, hey, something's not right. That's exactly right. See, back to the screen here, they're they're bumping up this number here. You know, they're they're taking this great product and then they're just cutting it in half or by 70% or or more. So. With over 20,000 fragrances under our belt, you know, we know a thing or two. So if you're looking for a company to help you deformulate your fragrances, you know, formulate a new scent, encapsulate your fragrances or, or any kind of manufacturing, you know, please give us a call. So your free gift, I haven't forgotten. 
If you send me an email with uh, your contact information, I'll send you a free formula to show you how we build these fragrances, what to look for, and we can even uh, talk about doing some refractive index testing on, on some of your products just to make sure that all your fragrances are consistent and strong and your customers are super happy. Thank you so much for listening to the deformulation talk. I'm Jody, and this is Innosol Inc., www.innosolinc.com. Have a great day.